Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to another video uh, from us here at Astro Dad. Um, I'm filming myself tonight because my cameraman isn't here, uh, my little boy. <laughs> tonight we're going to try and film, well take some pictures of M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy, which is about 30 million light years away, so it's quite far away. And tonight we're going to be using the ASI Air with some ZWO cameras. So we're going to basically run through the software and you can see how I get on. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. This is the hardware setup. I've got the um, William Optics Z73 as the main main camera with my uh, very nice fluorescent uh, dew heater strip. I've got the, also got the William Optics uh, 50mm guidance uh, scope on the top. Uh, in the back, I've got the uh, ZWO uh, ASI 120mm, so that's just a monochrome camera, that's the Mini for the guidance. On the back I've got the non-cooled, uh, just the standard ASI 120 but the colour version with the USB 3. Then I've got the William Optics Field Flattener, uh, then straight into the camera. So on the side, as you can see, I've got the ASI Air, which is what I'm talking about. I've just velcroed it onto the side of here at the moment, onto the side of the dew heater. I've also put a velcro strap on here, but I found that, annoyingly, one of my criticisms, I know it's just a Raspberry Pi case, but the power lead here, I'd rather that was here as well as almost all the cables, because this catches when you sort of, you really got to be careful if you do buy one of these and fit to your scope. This, if you put it, if you mount it anywhere, if you're not careful where you mount it, you're going to get this snag and it'll just, it's just going to shear off. So I've put it up here for now, that does mean that your cables have got a little bit more stretch. Um, I'm, I will eventually come up with another solution for that, uh, but this is the, one of my first tries with this, so uh, when time allows. So yeah, ASI Air, then you've got all the, con the USB connections here, so three USB connections, one for the USB 3 for the imaging camera, one for the guidance, and then the other one goes into the hand controller for the mount. And then we've just got the power lead going through uh, a little step down, transformer, 12 volts to 5 volts, three amps. Uh, then I've got a little box of uh, just converting 240 volts from the mains uh, down to 12 volts DC for the scope, uh, for the mount, sorry, and the dew heater and everything like that. So that's the hardware. Um, now onto the software. Okay, so we've briefly seen the hardware. Uh, now this is gonna be the software for the ASI Air. So what we'll do is we'll open it up now one thing you can't do with the ASI Air software is you can't download the software without having the hardware because the first thing it does is searches for it. Now if you've not got the Wi-Fi connection to it, this is as far as you'll ever be able to get with the software. Um, I found this out the hard way because I tried downloading the software in advance to play with but it won't let you. So this is the first screen you get when you power it on. Uh, I'm going to click OK. Connects to the Wi-Fi, there we go, it's found it. So this is the first screen you come to and this is where you select your guide camera, main camera, mount uh, and filter wheel. It's also really important that you get these two, uh, the focal lens correct as well, which you should be able to find. If you don't already know, you'll be able to find online. So you can see the guide scope for the 50 millimeter William Optics is 200 mil and then the main scope is uh, 430 millimeters. And then as I've shown you already, these are the two cameras. Now, recent and uh, a patch that I'm massively impressed with, with the uh, ZWO uh, ASI Air is they've now uh, enabled the use of di digital SLR cameras. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through this, have a play with this later on, and then in the middle of the night I'm going to switch out to a Nikon SLR, and I'm going to try that as well. Uh, firmware, so you can see the firmware version, that's the latest version. So enter. This should then, he says, there we go. This takes you into the, into the main software then. So it says not detected. I think that's because my scope, but I've not polar aligned the mount yet. I think the mount has to be polar aligned before um, you can before you can uh, connect to it. But looks uh, complicated at first, but after a couple of runs with it, I've kind of got familiar with it. It's not the most intuitive software, I have to admit. So a little bit of criticism there. And there's not you watch the online videos from the OEM, from the you know from ZWO, and even the videos aren't the most intuitive. But in a nutshell, along the top, you've got uh, your Wi-Fi connection, imaging camera, uh, that's your, your guidance camera, 
mount filter wheel and memory card so it's got an onboard SD card and then down the side you've got the different you've got the preview and you can choose between different um, options for the main cam so this is if you want to get the, set your focus and a preview so you can, can try and get your exposures right and then auto runners for when you want to set up a sequence an imaging sequence uh, come out of that for now and then it took me ages to try and work out how to do the guidance and you have to click on this sort of histogram here and then it opens up all these different options so you can set here now exposure time and gain and everything like that with the guidance cam as well so when it gets dark later on we'll run through all this um i don't want to go through it all now and i don't really know all of it bear in mind i'm a total beginner so will you be when you first use this so hopefully you can try and get an idea of how um just to orientate yourself and I think a lot of this is just a case of press it, see what it does. You can always press the home button and go back. So that's it for, for now. Um, software's ready to go. I just need to do my polar line as soon as Polaris pops up, uh, which would be over there somewhere. Fortunately, I've got a three-story building right next to me on one side, and I've got a tree the other, so I'm hoping that M51's going to be just above the tree line at about 10 o'clock tonight. Um, so we will see. Uh, speak soon. Cheers, guys. So I'll just uh, <clears throat> do my polar line, and I've entered the focus option on the right hand side there, it says focus. And then press play, and it's just doing repeat one second exposures. With the button off the mask on you can see, that's Polaris, and now I'll try and adjust my focus. And I'll just do a couple of my adjustments just to bring it into the centre as well. And then we'll do the three star alignment and off we go. So, so far, I'm liking the... Uh, the focus option, dead simple. In fact, let's give me some histogram data down there. Uh, no idea what any of that means. Don't really intend on learning right now either. So, if I, if I do this as well, does that let me? Oh yeah, and you can bring a crosshair up, look on them smack in the middle. So that'll be even nicer for the port, helping with the <coughs> three star alignment. Cool, I like that, I think that's a new feature. Okay, let's do the focus. Uh, so I'm trying the uh, plate solve. Not having much success. Been doing the tried tried doing the guidance using this as well. Um, keeps losing stars, jumping stars. I think I've even lost my three star alignment because of it. So far, not too chuffed with either of those two functions. So I might just do my three star alignment again and just go straight into imaging. <sighs> hey guys. So, that was the first attempt at using the ASI Air. You know, this product this product's designed and marketed and sold as a, a simple solution. Uh, a big, you know, ideal for beginners. Uh, I didn't, I've not found that so far. You know, as you've seen tonight, I couldn't film everything because I was just trying so hard to try and make it work. I couldn't film it at the same time. I couldn't get the guidance to work yeah i've made it work i've got it to work on through the laptop on uh as a cap and uh phd for the capture and the imaging i've got it all to work on separate softwares so it's not the cameras it's not the hardware i i'm, I'm gonna persevere uh it's the first time i've tried it it, it just wasn't uh, straight wasn't the easy solution it's sold to be but anyway we will persevere we'll try again but what, what what i was wanting was to give the kids there you go there's a tablet i've set the telescope up outside go and find something and take a picture that's where i want to be that's my dream my dream is to go right kids go and take some pictures of something and it's simple and easy for them as soon as you start making things difficult for them kids switch off Kids aren't interested. If it's hard, if they're outside and cold and wet or damp or miserable, again, if you try and again try and do things with them like that, they just associate with being cold. So if they can sit inside on the sofa, chilling out, okay, they can come out and help set the scope up, but you know, galaxy time at the minute, it's really cold outside. So they can sort of sit on the sofa with a tablet and get involved. And at the minute, the software is not allowing it. The guidance isn't working. You sort of you, 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 you guidance opens up, recognise the stars. You click a star. The mount's doing this massive 
jerk movements. You try and do plate solve and it finds like 600 bloody stars and then and it tells you you're too far from the equator. What the hell that is about, I don't know. Um, tried with the SLR. I put the Nikon on tonight as well and it kept crashing, just crashing to what would be desktop in an app. It's back to the home screen. The whole app just crashes. So I know it's a new uh, revision of the software. But I think uh, said to be need to look at that uh, closely. But you're um, at the minute with a Nikon three four hundred. Every time you try and, try and capture, it crashes out. Okay with the ZWO cameras, but with the SLRs, uh, it crashes the software. So tomorrow, I'm just gonna go back to basics. Just I'm gonna have just a telescope, the mount, and, and, and a camera. I'm just gonna do it all by hand, no computers. I'm just gonna try and rebuild it up. Try and rebuild some confidence. Disheartened a little bit tonight, but hey, that is at the minute the moral of the story. It's all these niggles and learning, learning from it, I guess. And then we'll, we'll overcome them. We'll get there. We'll be all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Really appreciate it. And cheers for watching. If you're still watching, if anyone's still watching right now, I appreciate it. And any comments, pop them, pop them below. I'm going to also, um, once we reach a certain amount of subscribers, I'm going to try and do a free giveaway as well, which would be nice to be able to do. Right, thanks guys. Good night. See you later.